got plum interesting folks I ain't got everything on camera we sit here and caught five sheep head real quick like I just got to catching an eight pounder JB just hooked up so it's just a complete opposite of what was going on this morning this morning we, we couldn't pay for a bite fish have uh, kind of starting to cooperate. JB just had one on, another bite. Oh, he's on, JB's on now. Whoa, I'm gonna try to get out of your way, buddy. All right, I'm, I'm, you're clear. All right, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. Hang on to him, JB. Oh no. Oh. Man. That fish had some shoulders on him, buddy. Well, our fortune has changed. At least we're definitely getting some bites now. We're hooking it. I mean, we're really into some big fish here. Big fish. That is a small hook, JB. Oh, I'm into one, buddy. Oh, oh, not as big as them other ones, but it's a sheephead. Oh no, he is a good one. He's, oh, there he goes. That's another big fish, man. Oh man. Oh, he come off. Oh. Can't catch them all. All right, big old fish there. Big old fish got off. JB had a good one on. JB, I got some one-offs right here, buddy. That's what I'm catching them on right there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting them, getting them on. All right, so we're definitely uh, got a change of fortune here. I'm using my, uh, my skinny wrap. That's what I'm using today. Get my top three. So we just fill that, fill that wrap up. Don't take much oyster at all to fill it up. So the economy of bait is really good, real good. You uh, just worm that bad boy on there like that. You're ready to go. We definitely got fish interested in what's going on with us. And we are into some big sheephead. I mean, big she all these fish are running five to seven pounds. I mean, every one of them. We hope we can keep this going. There's a little bump right there, a little bump. Another bump. There he is, he got it. Oh man, 
Oh, he's taken off of Florida, man. I'm telling you what, that one's going to Mexico. Oh, man. These are big, big sheephead. These are big sheephead. Man, I hooked him and he just, he ripped off about 30 feet of line on his first run. All right, he, still running. He just take a drag, man, like crazy. I see color. All right, there he is. Oh man, another whopper, man. Another whopper. Look at, look at the size of these sheephead that we are catching. Me and JB, I'm telling you what, wearing them out today. We, this morning we couldn't hardly pay for a sheephead, but I got this afternoon. We'll turn the tables on them. And you can see there, that's about a five, six pound sheep head right there. That last one I got was about eight. And there's the wrap. Still got bait. Going down for another one. Going down for another one. Same wrap, same bait. I just caught a five, six pounder. Bite's definitely on. Something's going on here. We got these sheep heads very interested in. So we're just going to see if we can't keep them interested. JB's going to a bigger hook. We're thinking maybe that was the, the issue. He had a hook wasn't uh, big enough. But I'll tell you what, we are into some really grown sheephead here, big ones. So the bite's definitely in the afternoon. Okay, JB's getting wired up for sound there. He's ready to go. Ready to go. I hope I can put something in the corner. Come on, Mr. Sheephead. Now we done caught and I think what we got. We got we got seven in there? Yeah. And every one of them fish is somewhere between five and seven pounds. Every one of them. We just hope we can keep this going for a little while. And we both have missed, missed several fish. Yeah, I've missed three. I had that one break my hook in half, bit my hook in half. That's how impressive their uh, dentures are. You don't want your fingers in a sheephead's mouth. That tide's really picking up now. Oh! JB had a hit there. Oh, he broke him off. Lord. Broke the line. Come on, Mr. Sheephead. Some more action. Yeah, 
they definitely will cooperate in there for a while. I think we had a school under us. That slacked off a little bit now. Maybe I need to recharge that bait. But I'd caught, I'd already caught two on it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna recharge that, that skinny wrap. A little bit more bait. Nice thing about this T3 wrap, it is tough stuff. It really, really takes the punishment, holds up real well. You can use it more than once frequently. So I've caught two fish on this one wrap. Missed a couple. And I just recharged it with a little bit more oyster. So getting a lot of mileage out of that one wrap. All right, let's go back down and see it. Current's really picking up now. We're hoping that sheephead stick around a little longer. Give us a little bit more pleasure catching these really nice fish. I know what I'm gonna be eating for dinner tonight. I think I know what J JB's gonna be eating too. This sheephead fishing is a hoot, ain't it? Dang sure is, watching you catch them. <laughs> <laughs> I work the net pretty good. <laughs> Had a little bite right there. It's kind of slacked off a little bit. Oh, there he is. There's one. Oh, yeah. I got him. Don't worry about it. Oh, man, that's a good fish. Good fish. The other one of them grown sheephead. Boy, I tell you what. 30 December. We are at Destin Bridge. Underneath the Destin Bridge. And we are... Just wearing these sheephead out. You get them? Just wearing them out. Come on, Mr. Sheephead. Stay on the hook. Oh, JB, that's another big, big sheephead. That's another eight pounder, man. Oh, Lord. Look at there. Look at there. That's amazing. Look at there. Absolutely amazing. And you know something? That wrap is. I still got bait in a wrap. I... That's a ticket. Oh boy, he's hooked on there good. You want some pliers? I got it. All right. Look at there. I know. <laughs> Ooh, boy. 